Bloomberg values the Yeezy business at between 3.2 and 4.7 billion, and his personal net worth at over 6 billion dollars, which makes him, check this, the wealthiest black American ever. Y'all are always looking like y'all are y'all are interested for some reason, and they wanted to medicate me every day. You realize like it's crazy, bro. They could have just swapped the pills, switched the medication. Facts. Kill I wouldn't be here. Take them out. And on the news, they would have said it was because of a mental issue. Right. I've never been back to the hospital since- And then sent a series of tweets against the family, alleging that Kim and Chris were trying to lock him up. Kim later released an Instagram statement begging the public for compassion for his mental health struggles. The center of the Kardashian universe is Instagram, and this is where Kanye has benefited the most. Kanye is clearly a master of social media hype, and he's well aware of how valuable Kim's cosign is. He once gave her a percentage of his company as a thank you for not doing business with his competitor. There was a fast fashion brand a few of them, and they would knock off Yeezy all the time. And so this fast fashion brand offered me a million dollars for an Instagram post. And when I told him about it, he asked me not to do it and said, you know, without a respect, I don't think that we should be giving them everything. They, they copy everything. It's, you know, I completely understood why he said no. I, I gladly said no. And then for Mother's Day, he handed me an, an envelope and it was a check for a million dollars saying thank you for not posting for the other brand and, and a contract to be an owner in Yeezy as a, as a thank you. So Yeah, Kanye. Bloomberg values the Yeezy business at between 3.2 and 4.7 billion, and his personal net worth at over 6 billion dollars, which makes him, check this, the wealthiest black American ever. again where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever play date with the kids just won't be the same today we are in tune for another very interesting topic of conversation okay now before we get into this video in particular i want you guys to be mindful of what's been going on the internet for the past couple of months all right i want you guys to be mindful of how many celebrities from various platforms have been coming out and speaking openly about their experience in the industry we have had nba player kyrie Irving come out and speak his opinion and then get publicly shamed for his own points of view we have had an individual by the name of jeffree star come out on twitter and openly express his affiliation with the illuminati or secret society and how they tried to penalize him for speaking out against it. We have had Kanye West, who on multiple occasions exposes what's been going on with Balenciaga, what's been going on with Adidas, what goes on in the music industry, and how handlers are actually a formidable force in the Hollywood industry, okay? We have had Andrew Tate, who exposed the Matrix. We have had so many people who have been actually speaking out honestly and openly about their experiences and what we don't see on a public day-to-day -day basis. Bloomberg values the Yeezy business at between 3.2 and 4.7 billion, and his personal net worth at over $6 billion. Which makes him, check this, the wealthiest black American ever. In 2020, Gap announced a 10-year partnership with Kanye West in hopes to emulate the success of his Adidas partnership. Even during the pandemic, sales for Yeezy's Adidas sneakers remained resilient, growing 31% to nearly $1.7 billion in annual revenue. Boosted by strong sneaker sales and projected earnings from the upcoming Gap line, Bloomberg values the Yeezy business at between 3.2 and 4.7 billion, and his personal net worth at over $6 billion which makes him, check this, the wealthiest black American ever. And yet they all get penalized for it. Now I find this story to be very interesting because Kanye West has recently come up as missing. According to his ex-manager, ex-business partner, uh, Kanye West has been missing for about two, almost three weeks, hasn't been returning phone calls. Apparently he went to Ghana for some fresh air to avoid all of the heat that he's been receiving from the entire Adidas and anti-Semitic statements that he made. So he went to Ghana, allegedly but yet hasn't been returning anyone's phone calls. Even his close family had to file a missing persons report on Kanye West, okay? Bloomberg values the Yeezy business at between 3.2 and 4.7 billion, and his personal net worth at over $6 billion, which makes him, check this, the wealthiest black American ever. But the ultimate turning point was in July 2020, when he hosted a rally in South Carolina, announcing his short-lived bid for president. At the rally, he made comments about the couple nearly aborting his daughter North, and then sent a series of tweets against the family, alleging that Kim and Chris were trying to lock him up. Kim later released an Instagram statement begging the public for compassion for his mental health struggles. Now we all know how animate he is about hanging out with his family and being with his kid in particular. And even for the Kardashian Christmas photos that I guess they take every year, Kanye West was not in those pictures. So I'm very, very concerned about Kanye West. This is probably one of those situations where they take an individual like Kanye West and try to reset him <laughs> for the Matrix so he can fulfill his purpose as a puppet of the industry. But this is what I mean on how once you try to escape, they automatically try to either penalize you, put you away, or publicly humiliate you. Same thing that they do with Kyrie Irving. 
Same thing that they did with Andrew Tate. Same thing that they're doing with Kanye West. Same thing that they've been doing with so many celebrities over the past couple of months that's actually becoming very, very clear as to what goes on in the secret society, okay? Now, this video right here is actually from a previous clip that we watched in which Kanye West was speaking about how Jay-Z and Shaq are being handled by controllers or what they call to be handlers and um, how Kanye West's mother was also a sacrifice. This is the pretense to that clip right there. So we're about to hop into it. He said something very, very interesting that I want you guys to hear, okay? But let's get it now. Uh, Ari Emanuel at Harvey's Business School. Stop doing business today. Now, yeah, I was... I was doing business school. In negotiation with the theaters, because that was my issue. They were getting lawyers to sign over my IP and different things without me being aware of it. Like, you can sign it on my behalf. And this is part of the problems I have with it. So now, the world has got to see how this was a part of the fact that they would attempt to steal my design. That's happened in my history, right? right? But now I got to get to see it in real life. Like, and that's the difference. Like, let's read this holy text out loud. When he was threatening me, you know, Listen carefully, forcing y'all. me to apologize, you know, about the frustration. And no one ever, no one ever said okay, this was a deal. Even if I could you, because they Kanye West, right? And my name is leaving the name out. It's always some form of disrespect. No matter if you're the richest black man or whatever. What, what's up, bro? You part of this? No, no, it's my name. I'm going to help you one of a couple ways. First, you and I think gotta have a loving and open conversation, but you don't use cuss words. And everything that is discussed is based in fact and that's some crazy stuff that young friend of yours told you when you saw the tweet. Second option, I have the institutionalized again where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date, play date with the kids just won't be the same. Wow. Bro. This is the way a Hollywood a Hollywood trainer was talking to me wow, to bro. force me to go and like apologize, right? But Wow. Before Jim and even before Amber Rose, there was Alexis Pfeiffer. She is the often forgotten ex fiance of Kanye's past and his original muse when it comes to the world of fashion. If you look at the time before Kanye got with Alexis, he dressed like everyone else in hip-hop. During his Rockefeller days, he wore baggy jeans, jerseys, and chains. But once they started dating, he got the confidence to start wearing more fashion-forward stuff. Her birthday falls around Paris Fashion Week, and she convinced him to take her there as a gift. That first time they attended together, Kanye didn't know any of the designers or brands, so Alexis handpicked all the shows for them to attend. We started seeing him interact with designers like Karl Lagerfeld and Marc Jacobs, and he went from wearing preppy vintage fits to more contemporary streetwear and luxury pieces. Bro, this is a Hollywood trainer. <laughs> now obviously I had to do my research. This Hollywood trainer also was training with Kylie Jenner, also was training with Justin and Haley Bieber. So now it almost forces the question, it almost imposed the question in my mind like, wow, are people being coerced and handled, as they say, through their personal trainers, through managers? Like, how how are they actually, how are they victims of these handlers now? I want you guys to listen to what the hell this this handler just forced Kanye West to choose. Where they medicate the stuff that young friend of yours told you, or you saw on a tweet. Second option, I have you institutionalized again, where they medicate the crap out of you, and you go back to zombie land forever. Wow, bro. Play date. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. Bloomberg values the Yeezy business at between 3.2 and 4.7 billion, and his personal net worth at over six billion dollars, which makes him, check this, the wealthiest Black American ever. Y'all are always looking like y'all are y'all are interested for some reason, and they wanted to medicate me every day. You realize, like, that's crazy, bro. They could have just swapped the pills, switched the medication, Facts. kill them, wouldn't be here. Take them out. And on the news, they would have said it was because of a mental issue. Right. I've never been back to the hospital since And then sent a series of tweets against the family, alleging that Kim and Chris were trying to lock him up. Kim later released an Instagram statement begging the public for compassion for his mental health struggles. And when it pertains to Kanye's life, his impact on culture can't be overstated. Kendall is the highest paid model in the world because of who? Kylie and Kim built cosmetic and apparel empires because of who? Travis Scott became hip-hop's king of merch because of who? Streetwear is high fashion because of who? You know, if I really had some percentage that related to my actual influence, I'd be like a multi-trillionaire. Mm -hmm. black people. Y'all are interested. Two chances that why is that black people? When y'all are so good looking. Like, y'all are, are interested for some reason. And they wanted to medicate me every day. You realize, like... That's crazy, bro. They could have just... Swap the pills. Switch the medication. Facts. Kill them. I wouldn't be here. Take them out. And on the news, they would have said it was because of a mental issue. Right? Mm -hmm. I've never been back to the hospital since 2015. But every time they say I'm crazy, it's just when I'm saying the truth. So what's the crazy part, really? 
What's the crazy part? Listen. The crazy part is that you're saying the truth. That's the, that's the crazy part. The crazy part is, damn, they're saying the truth. He must be crazy. That's like you touching the fire and no one is going to burn. Of course that person is going to be called crazy. That's exactly what Kanye West is doing. My boy Kanye West is literally throwing oil, gas, matches, coal, any, anything flammable that you could think of into a burning fire. And they don't like that, bro. They don't like that at all. Remember, only you are in charge of your happiness.